on back-to-back games against the Breakers. Would that be close to the toughest sport night of the season? Yeah, definitely, definitely. They're, uh, they're a very hard side. I mean, they're the championship winning team from last season, so it's going to be very hard to, to beat them, obviously. Uh, but we've got to make sure we're crossing our, uh, crossing our T's and uh, dotting our I's and making sure we're doing things coach puts on, puts on the board, and um, that's how we're going to win these games. I mean, psychologically, it's pretty handy to have the first of that double at home. Yeah, definitely, definitely it is. It's always uh, good to have the crowd behind you and always comfortable playing at home. And then, uh, you know, as long as we can grab one there and then um, make sure we take care of business on the road. What's the uh, plan for Corey Webster, or is it just a case of shutting down everyone around him? Uh, well, no, I mean, you know, he's an absolutely great player, so you've got to make sure you're doing the right things, um, uh, making sure you get after him on the defensive end and make him take tough shots. We've got the guys to do it. It's just uh, actually putting it into play. Tell me, tell them how good I am at practice. Uh, Nate did a fantastic job of practice today. He really beat me up, so it was, uh, <laughs> it was good. What's it like battling against him every week of practice? Uh, it's tough. It's tough. He's a great player, and uh, you know he's extremely strong. He's got some great post moves, so it's fantastic getting to go up against him. And you know you've got Matty as well, so you know I'm benefiting from it all, getting to go up against him every every game. And so it's you know when it comes to actual game time, it's a lot easier because. You know, he's on your side, so it makes it, it makes an absolute luxury. Do you reckon it has helped your, uh, your output this year, given that you do train against those guys? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, 100%, they, they make me better, they make everyone better, so uh, it's great to have them there. Uh, does he beat you up and uh, does it help you out on the court? I mean, he's beating up opponents and then you come on the court. Do you find it maybe a little bit easier? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, he sets the tone for, for all us big guys getting out there and and really, you know, getting it down low and making sure he's, he's establishing himself and then we come on and picking up uh, exactly where he left off. So it's, it's absolutely awesome having him out there and really setting it and then us just carrying on with it. Walking wounded at training today, uh, Sean caught one in the eye, Greg rolled his ankle, Damo, Matty. Just another day, just another day of the Wildcats. We're all good. It's just, uh, ma- you know, maintaining our, uh, the way we're going about things and, and making sure we're healthy when it comes to game time. Is it hard to manage that given the, the schedule and how many games you're playing? Uh, I mean, yeah, it is. But the coaching staff and, and um, the medical staff done a fantastic job with everyone and making sure that you know everyone's ready to go for when games are playing. You know, and uh, hopefully we get Damo back as soon as possible. And New Zealand, the best team right now. I know Melbourne started off really well, but have dropped the last three. Uh, do you think the Breakers might be the best team right now or the team to beat? Uh, well, I mean, they won the championship last year, so you know, you look at it from that that standpoint, then you know they're the team to beat, but. You know, the league's wide open this year. Everyone can beat everyone. It shows, you know, with Townsville knocking off Melbourne uh, last week. And, you know, you just got to be on your game. And as long as you do that, you put yourself in a chance. Are New Zealand your fiercest rival, given that the history of the last couple of years? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say so. You know, obviously, we've had some heart, heartache against them. So, uh, you know, it's, it's always a good game when you get to go up against them and making sure that, you know, you, when you get that win, it's, it's, it's obviously a, a great feeling. And when are you expecting Damien back? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, obviously it's up to the medical staff, and uh, just hopefully it's it's sooner rather than later. You know, he's a fantastic piece to our puzzle, and when we've got him, you know, we're full pace and, and ready to go. Given your last sort of few weeks, how confident are you guys at the start of the fourth quarter, sort of regardless of scoreline? I mean, very confident. It doesn't matter what the scoreline is. You know, you play to win games, whether you're down 15 points or you're, you know, you're up 15 points. It doesn't matter. You're there to win, and you're going to put it all on the line. So, you know, we know that, and we're not going to give up. And so, we think we can win from any position. We're out there. What do you put? Is it fitness or what do you put these last quarter sort of cuffing behind wins down to? Uh, I'm switching on. You know, uh, you know, we we want to play four quarters of good basketball, and unfortunately, you know, we we've done it very rarely this season. Um, so, you know. While, while when the fourth quarter comes around, we're normally hitting our straps and really playing good basketball. But you know we have to do that for four quarters from the start of the games, and you know that'll make it easy going into the fourth. So yeah, I just think it's you know we're paying attention to detail, running the plays to a tee, and and really uh, you know getting the guys the ball that that you know in the right position.